Hey, Tommy Gomes down here, San Diego's fishmonger here, Catalina Offshore Products. And what we have here is a Pacific Opa. We're gonna break it down. We're gonna show you the utilization of a big fish like this and all its different cuts of meat. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a knife. I like a long, thin blade. I'm gonna switch knives throughout this process. And I'm just gonna slice and run right down the fish. And you see where the pectoral fin is here. I'm gonna draw a straight line down to the anal pectoral fin, right along the chest cavity, just like that. I'm gonna take just the tip of the knife and we're just gonna work it one more time, just a little bit, nice and easy, and slice. We're gonna take a cross cut right here, right across the tail, and again, with just the tip of the blade, I'm gonna run this flat, right like this, and you can see the blade working in here. And I'm just gonna run the blade right on top of the bone structure. And we're gonna go real slow. That's all we're gonna do is we're just gonna work it back and forth. And as you slice, it'll open up more and more. We're just gonna cut right to the center of the fish. We're going to take this knife, break the skin, and just run our blade right down that bone. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna run it right down the fish. We just lift very gently with the back of my hand. I don't wanna use my fingers because it'll damage the meat. So we just slide our hand in there and we'll use it like this. Now we start the filleting and the slicing. We lift gently, and this is where we just start carving. And we'll lift this fish right off. So if you look at the top loin, you can see the belly section here. The center section in here, what I like to call the filet mignon. You have another strap here, and then you have a top strap here or a back strap if you will so you have one two three four pieces of different fish right here and each fish is different in not only flavor but also texture as well you can see the line here and you can see the line here and there's another line right in here which separates the filet mignon to the belly and just slice right along And then we're gonna open it up a little bit. And there's one of the, the back strap. We're gonna cut right along this line here. We're gonna remove the next back strap. And now we're gonna remove the filet mignon for the center loin and there you have it. So you can see the bloodline right here and you can see what's the muscle tissue of the fish right here which runs down that lateral line. You can separate that by running right down the lateral line so that gives you a center cut here and it also gives you more of a cut on this side. This cut is actually taking and replacing albacore in many sushi bars in Southern California. So what we do with this is we just roll it and remove the skin. And we can use that for searing as well as sushi. The belly of this fish is dense like a pork chop with a massive amount of fat. I'm just gonna shave along here and remove the stomach and muscle tissue. Using the palm of my hand, I'm going to flatten it out and I'm just gonna wiggle my knife in there and I'm gonna make one swift cut and then we're gonna open it up. I'm gonna remove the skin. If you were to take this piece of fish here and cut it just like that, and you deep fry this fish without any batter or coating or anything, there's so much fat that it comes out and actually coats this piece of fish in its own natural fat and flavor. 
so you don't need to add a bunch of powder mix and eggs and milk and all that to make a fish stick or a deep fried fish. This is the back strap. You can see the silver skin here. So it's gonna be a little bit chewier, yet you can see how nice and, and round the flakes or the fillets actually work in conjunction with the way the fish lays. Just removing the skin. You can see more of the muscle tissue that runs along the skin. Some of the applications that you use for this, you need a healthier, more local piece of seafood for your sandwich. Also, by chunking the fish, you have your fish kebabs. So the top loin is gonna have much more sinew in there. We're just gonna remove the skin. One of the things that I do with this fish is cutting it into small pieces and we use this as a stir fry with fresh vegetables. So now we're gonna actually get into the muscle structure of the fish. And if you look right here, you can see as I lift the pectoral fin, you can see the muscles start to work. We're gonna harvest these muscles. We're gonna make like a Frisbee cut. We're just gonna bring it right around. You just get your finger, okay, open it up a little bit. You can see how thick it is. We're gonna cut it right here. And basically I'm just gonna run my fingers around in a circle and we're gonna pull the cap off. I'm gonna take my knife and I'm gonna dig into the chest cavity and bring it around and then I'm gonna get my hand in there and we're gonna lift this up and out. But I wanna show you how beautiful the color is and the texture of this fish. You can do a raw application with this and it's just like beef. Just like a chicken, you have dark meat and light meat. With running this through the grinder, you can make everything from grandma's meatloaf to tacos. You can slice it super thin and you can make a carne asada type protein out of this. There's so many applications. Sear it on the grill, slice it up and serve it rare in the middle like you would a tuna. You can even go so far as making a tuna tartare with the opa abductor muscle. So there's another muscle deep behind this chest cavity. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna insert my blade. I'm gonna see where it ends right there and I'm gonna bring my blade in and around that bone. Just like that. Then I'm gonna get in there with my hand. I'm gonna get behind it. And slowly I'm gonna work it its way out. Right there. There's two sides of this. As you open this up, you'll see it. You see that silver skin right there? You take your thumb and you just rub your thumb in there, just like that, and you pull it apart. Now we wanna get rid of this silver skin. So the texture of this, even though they're both muscles, the texture of this one is a little bit different. I'm gonna cut this right in half, just like the other muscle you can eat raw. The flavor profile of this mussel is that of a yellowfin tuna. It's got a slight metallic taste to it. Right off the bat, on the back end, it has a creamy ocean flavor, unlike anything you've had before. The abductor muscle of this fish is an insane piece of protein. We need to make it part of the everyday diet. So this was the cap. Normally this would just be tossed over the side of the boat. We're gonna shave it, and I want you to see that this is all fat. So there's a couple of things that you can do with this. You can render this down, and it'll be orange, almost like an orange drink. Or you can take this, slice it at an angle like that, and deep fry this whole thing and you'll make chicharroni out of it like you would 
a pig skin. As you deep fry it, it opens up the pores and just creates this crunchy fish skin all the way through. So now comes the cleaning with a flexible blade. And we're gonna take all these bits and pieces. You reach up into the head, come down and around. There's another little piece of fish. And you can see there's still plenty in here. You just have to get in there with a flexible knife and pull it out. So these pieces that we're digging out now are perfect for soups, pastas, grinding up, get a scraper and start removing the rest of the meat that's super close to the bone. Utilization is the name of the game and the key to conservation. Use as much of the fish as you can. Scrape it, the best part is on the bone. Make a fish patty out of this, add your favorite spices. So the opa is not a targeted species, meaning boats don't leave to go fish for this. It is a bycatch, but it's an edible bycatch that's absolutely beautiful. Sustainably harvested on a worldwide scale, there's no reason why we all can't enjoy this fish without overfishing. And remember this, if the big fish eat the small fish, we all should enjoy the small fish. The mackerel, the sardines, the anchovies. So remember, no matter where you're from, support your local fishermen and buy directly from the fishermen or from reputable seafood dealers.